Peggy 18. In Middle Earth's shadow of Mordor, you are Talion, a ranger of Gondor and a guardian of the Black Gates, until the night Sauron and his Black Captains returned to Mordor, killing everyone you've ever loved and leaving you for dead. This walkthrough takes place several hours into the game and focuses on the Nemesis system, a next-gen living world which creates unique personal enemies on every playthrough. In this instance, Talion's mission is to kill the Uruk War Chief Orthog. And in order to get to him, Talion is going to hunt down one of his henchmen, an Uruk captain called Ratbag, who Talion has tracked to this village. Like every enemy you face in the Nemesis system, Ratbag and Orthog are completely unique to this gameplay instance. There are no generic canned enemies. Within this dynamic living world, every interaction between Talion and his enemies has a direct effect on Uruk society. Ratbag has already met Talion and survived, and his unique personality has evolved to shape this gameplay encounter. He's now been promoted to a new job as a slaver, which is why we can find him in this village persecuting the humans below. Talion's quest for vengeance is aided by a mysterious undying spirit, a wraith. This wraith transforms Talion and gives him the power to pursue his enemies into Mordor and it enables him to move between the physical world and the Wraith world. In the Wraith world, Talion can identify his enemies, such as Ratbag, and return to the real world to confront them. You left my master to burn, so I'm gonna cut you slow and savor every twitch. Memory is an important feature of the Nemesis system. And Ratbag is never going to forget that he only just survived his last fight with Talion. This unique combination of personality and history will make him distinct from every other enemy Talion meets. Ratbag is a coward at heart, and he's going to run as soon as the odds turn against him. Master, help me! Again, Talion can put his Wraith powers to use. One of the key powers of a Wraith is the ability to dominate your enemies through terror and bend them to your will. You will obey! Now right back is Talion's minion. He can be ordered to spy and feed back information, to spread terror by carrying the message of what he's witnessed here to build Talion's legend among Sauron's forces, or to be sent on a mission to assassinate his leader. Each choice creates a unique mission in the open world of Mordor. By entering Ratbag's mind, Talion can see his relationship with the other Uruk leaders, as well as their unique characteristics and abilities. Ratbag's master, and the war chief in this area is Orthog, who has also had a previous encounter with Talion. In his case, a battle which left him severely scarred in the face. Orthog is very different to Ratbag. He's extremely tough and has many followers. Ratbag has almost no chance of killing him. But by creating an assassination mission, Talion gains the opportunity to follow Ratbag and finish off his enemy himself. In the open world, Talion can begin the mission at any time. But this walkthrough will fast forward to the assassination attempt. Playing as Talion opens up a world of creative choice about how to approach every mission. In this case, the cover of night and the rain creates a range of opportunities. Use bait to draw in trolls and caragors to create a distraction. Take a direct combat approach or use a stealth approach to infiltrate and get as close to Talion's target as possible. Again, 
Italian moves into the Wraith world to identify Orthog, who's called this meeting. Ratbag, who's behind Orthog, can be recognized by the blue hand, indicating he is Talion's minion. We can also see Ratbag supporters, who can be recognized by white hands. Since Talion now dominates Ratbag, he also controls his followers, allowing Talion to build his forces behind enemy lines. For additional fire support, Talion's going to dominate this archer. Each follower can be triggered individually as part of a more tactical approach, or all at once, to cause infighting and chaos. Distraction, so Talion can finish off what Ratbag starts. Ratbag's attack severely damages Orthog. And although he has survived, Talion now has a major advantage going into battle. That shuts you up. You left me to burn! I'm gonna make you pay for that! Through the Nemesis system, Orthog remembers his previous encounter with Talion, making this battle both unique and personal. You burn my face, but I will burn your corpse! Will be in place, and all mortal will burn. <laughs> 